we're really trying to be transparent for a whole supply chain from component to actual install. But every high tech product in the marketplace should have effectively be the perfect retrofit solution for the industry. We design, develop and supply a range of life safety and health solutions, varying from domestic smoke detection, commercial fire, all the way to LED lighting, emergency lighting and site lighting. So we're at the LIA, the Light Industry Association. We've been a member for about five, six years now. So we're here today to go through our Orca Switch product, which is an outdoor wall pack. We design the product in the UK. We develop it with our manufacturing partner in the Far East. We then get our individual test support that we verify as a company in Chorley in Lancashire. Uh, it's really important that we partner with trade bodies like the LIA, so we can third party certify and accredit our products. We represent just over 200 members from manufacturers, distributors uh, within the lighting industry where we offer technical support, expertise, advice, uh, as well as making sure what they offer and put on the market is compliant and safe. Can't see any problems on a visual inspection of anything that would stand out. That would be some feedback before we started the testing, so that looks fine. A product will get mounted in the sphere behind me. This will measure the lumen output of a product, the colour of the product, as well as the consistency, and measure the deviation from that colour. So where you're trying to find out whether that's an energy rating, the efficacy, the lumens per watt of a product, that's what you'll be able to see from a sphere test. So you can back up the numbers that you claim. How many manufacturers utilise this? So a lot with our membership, so we'll roughly do 100 to 200 individual tests a year, just on spheres. What's the point of that there then? Is that, is that a sensor? Uh, no, we'll just, we're going to ask that question. <laughs> really bored. Along with the sphere, one of the other tests we put the orca through is the Gonio photometer. The Gonio will measure the distribution of a product. High spec are a great example of where we've had uh, multiple meetings with the team on what they're doing with their products, the testing they need, uh, their current compliance, where they could improve as every company could and then where new initiatives come in place or there's new regulations or laws advising them to help them understand what's required a bit more within the industry. So as we've had quite a lot of growth in the last few years, particularly more on the domestic smoke alarm side of the industry, we're really starting to put real time and energy into the development stage where all things we manufacture now are being designed purely in line with the circular economy. Thoughtful product design minimises the use of electricity not only in the manufacturing process, but in the actual operation. It also benefits electricians. The pulse range will allow for savings in time. There'll be no need to rewire, no need for asbestos testing, and ultimately no need for making good. There's a huge opportunity for the retrofit market. A big part of Highsbury's journey now is to really emphasize our third party certification across our whole six product categories. I think it's just important to set a standard for the marketplace that yes, we manufacture in the Far East over with our partner factories in China, but all third party certification is done here in the UK and you know, really giving the customer and contractor and client the peace of mind that what they think they are installing is actually correct.